Welcome. Welcome to this beautiful transmission of this amazing day of Thursday. There's so many things in the fields and just wanted to touch upon that. It's just it's a bit, you know, there's a lot of sadness, there's a lot of heaviness. And so that Mecca. And, and it's the most important thing, one of the most important things, to continue to do your work as this, this heaviness are... Um... So what happens with this heaviness in the field, you know, is that we continue to cont contribute to that. So as you feel heavy within your being and then you're sending signals to this cloud and the collective, and you're feeding it. It's like the same, very similar with the fear, the, the collective fear, the cloud of the collective fear and anxiety and depression and things like that, right? So it's normal to feel heaviness in a, as human beings, you know, it's normal to have all these emotions. This is like the very first like thing, remembering that really, you know, like um, it's normal. It's normal to fluctuate from these emotions, right? And so the thing is, is to keep that centerness within you. What does that mean for you to that centerness? You know, the most, uh, one of the most fastest ways of accessing this centerness is the heart space. And, and this is, um, this is, I just got, wow. Okay. You guys, I just have to say this really quick because one of my best friends from Las Vegas, she has family in the Ukraine and I had asked her it because uh, she i know that she's from the ukraine but i didn't know her family was still there so i just received those messages and it was just like it took me into like a different direction all right all right so okay here we go ah this is like the heaviness you know of the planet of the planet there's so many things like just like tapping into the field of what's happening in in the wars and just like um, rencor, fear, all these things, you know, that wants to be in power. And we have to remind ourselves that although we're having this human experience, nobody is in power. That uh, nobody can take your power away unless you give it to you, give it to them. Your own power is your own power. The one thing that really grounds you into your experience, into your awakening, to stay present with that power, to stay present with like that which your soul is telling you to do, that which you really desire to express, how you want to express your life as a whole. That is something that nobody can take away from you. Even if like the things outside of us are just like bombarding us with so much kind of information that makes us feel that you don't have power over anything. But in reality, you do and we do. And the power lives within you and it's always been there. And the power is in your own being and your own way of being and your own way of communicating and your own way of really just like expressing yourself, especially in the moments when we are told not to express ourselves, you know? And I'm not really talking about like literally going to like masses and talking unless, unless that opens up for you, that's great, you know? And what I'm talking about, like the the thing about you expressing yourself is, is first and foremost for you to express yourself within your being, to be truthful about how you feel, because that, that truth within you, however you experience your truth is really what goes deep into your being to activate many things within your DNA and the remembrance of what you are, who you are and what you came here to do. And through that remembrance, it's like so much of the wisdom of the elders that have been talking about this, we're tuning in into that, the wisdom of the elders, the wisdom of like, literally the wisdom keepers, the earth, like, different kind of planets different beings can come through you because we're all united in the in the consciousness as it is you're not different than me you don't have a form we're just it and so it is through your own truth and experiencing that truth of your own heart of your own being that leads you back into that space so now it, when you are into that space like Nobody can take that away from you. How could they if they don't really have your experience and the feelings that you are going through at that particular moment? So that is when you gain your power back. That is when you're just saying like, this is me. This is how I approach my life. This is how I came here to do these kinds of things, whatever it is in your life. And so 
it is super important now like yes the portal just happened but you can access this portal throughout this entire year this is one of my teachers was saying too like we can access this portal if we're awake if you're asleep then you know you're gonna miss it and i know like of course most of you and i actually feel that all of you that watch this video is like you are awake in some kind of way of another you're really just into that space and you know you know that you came here to do something important you know that you came here to reawaken something within you so it reawakens within the big like massive being that we are part of so now this is your experience and this is the the moment that you lead it into that own revolution of consciousness for yourself you know for yourself first and then let it let the puzzle just take you let the puzzle just take you so as as this transition happens you know and you're shedding and you're going through many shifts and you're just like have all these emotions rising up like honor those spaces within you and know that you are creating such a massive shift now there's so much thing happening in the planet there's i mean it's almost like it's been happening for a really long time and we know this we all have feel this and again zooming out or the, this perspective you know like as we are all interconnected and super connected we're all feeling this in some kind of way of another. We're all feeling this wave of heaviness. We're all feeling this wave of like sadness. We're all feeling that wave of like, what the fuck do we do now? But you have to like discern what energies are of the collective and what energies are of your own personal experience. And the moment that you discern and that you know which emotions are coming from your personal experience that leads you into actually holding the space for the collective, then it, it makes this experience a little bit more easy and more gentle. So going back into tuning in into your energies, going back into tuning in into your truth, into your own experience, into expressing yourself, because the more that we go inwards, the more that we really just like make peace with what happened, the more that you integrate your anger, the more that you integrate your suffering, integrate your anxiety, integrate your depression, is the more that we hold the space for the collective to do the same thing. And this is so important to do right now, you guys. It's so important to do right now. And like, I'm, I'm not an astrologer, you know, I do follow astrology in, a, in, in some kind of way, in the way that I can understand it, but there's a lot of things happening. And I'm sure that some of you, maybe all of you are aware of this. And so let, let that, whatever is happening in the exterior, not take, not take away the empowerment that you already carry the empowerment that you've been into this journey of empowerment and know that again the more that you continue to put at peace everything in you and integrate your being and marry literally welcome back the union of your divine masculine divine feminine energies the more that you can be the space holder for everything that is happening in the planet imagine all these people that don't even have your awareness imagine the people that just only feel fear because they don't know any better and so like there's there's different spectrums you know so like if you are in the side of the centerness you can be the portal of transformation for everybody else and this is what the access is the axis of like our own awakening we can be the mother we can be the father we can be that space that just sees everything as divinity and just witnesses a transformation of every single being that is going through this awakening they have no idea what in the world is going on and most of the time the awakening process just happens in a way that like you feel so lost you know <laughs> for sure burn some sage <laughs> and so it's like go back if you can go back and remember the very beginning of your awakening process you know like it, it might have been super challenging for you it was very challenging for me and again i didn't have anybody guiding me through that process 
but guess who actually guided me? The energies, the collective energy, the collective cloud of every single being that became enlightened, every single being that had already passed that threshold that I was going into. You know, so this is what we're doing as we work with the light and we also work with the, our, our darkness. This is not just about the light workers. This is also about the dark workers. OK, so when we work with those two energies and we put those a piece and we're able to work with them for the center point, then that is when we become more us. We become more us because your aspect is not just the light and your aspect is not just the dark. It's both of them both of them and at times when there is a big massive disconnection in in this trend of spirituality that is happening is because most people concentrate on the light you know and just like the dark has its powers and you can do so much work and so much amazing changes can happen with the dark if it comes from the space of centeredness if it comes from a space of consciousness that knows what it's doing and it knows how it can lead a revolution of consciousness from that space because it knows it's it, you know, you know that you're it. You know that you came here something to do something really great and then you're doing it. And so you're not putting a definition on yourself. You're not really dividing your being into like, this is like the best part of me and this is not. You are all of it. You embrace your dark. You embrace your light. You love your suffering and you love your blissfulness. Okay. When you are in that space, when you are in the space, that is what the biggest portal opens up within you. And then you allowed those energies to come through those energies in the way of like the mother earth in the way of different five dimensional beings in the way of the planets in the way of the stars in the way of any beings in the way of any deities in the way of any angels like do you understand that because we're not different from them but like if we are just in the space of like suffering we're only going to attract those entities that are in the same space when you're in the space of light, you know, you're on, you're going to attract just those entities that are in the space of light. When you're in the space of the middle, you really activate and bring forth all those beings that know how to be in that space. And they have maneuver from both sides of the coin to be in here, to be in here. And they pass through you as the portal, because that is when your own portal gets activated. That is when your own portal says, yes, Yes, this is what I came here to do. And now I'm going to let it be. I'm going to let it be because you're not just a human being. You don't you don't have just that identity of like whatever it is, whatever you grow up. If you grew up in South America, if you grow up in the Middle East, if you grow up in Europe or in the United States, like you're not that entity. You're not that entity. That is like a super small version of yourself. But the biggest version comes through when you are in that space, when you know that as you love your own shadows, your shadows and the light merge, your union and becomes like the one thing that will lead you deeper into your own experience of the conscious being that you are of the consciousness itself. Okay, the consciousness itself because it's already inside of you. You are already it. You are already it. So the invitation is, and it's, it's really like, it's really like a journey. It's a path, you know, that a lot of us choose to be in it because we had decided to come here at this particular moment in time and awaking at the particular moment in time that you did, to witness all of this and to hold space for all of this, okay? To hold space for all of this, for all this transformation, for all this, uh, what we see as crap happening in the planet. You came here to really be a pillar of the new grid of the earth, that the shift has already been happening. But imagine if this grid had very, weak pillars okay it will just collapse 
it will just collapse. And this is why you have the strength that you do. This is why you say yes to yourself, even when you don't want to say yes to, okay? This is why you show up even when you don't want to show up, because there is a structure within you that says, yes, you are the pillar. You know that it really says like, I am this pillar. And I know that I came here to like really be part of this massive shift that is happening and clear, you know, and also like be the mother to hold the space for this cloud of consciousness of the collective that is transitioning just like you were doing, just like you're still doing that pillar, that pillar. And at the beginning, it might feel that it's just like that you're just wobbly. It might feel that you're like, don't even know how that can continue. But there's a part inside of you that says, yes, somehow I know that I can continue. Somehow I know that I have this strength within me to continue to do what I'm doing. Because you know, it's already written within your system that you came here to do what it is that you're doing at this moment in time. And to continue to activate that pillar within yourself, the foundation the foundation for this new grid that continues to shift, continues to shift, just like your own puzzle. And we've been talking about this for a really long time. Just like your own puzzle shifts, it's the same thing with the grid. And it strengthens every single time one of us awakens even more and more and more. The pillar grows and gets thicker and gets taller and gets stronger. And this is when you feel that within you. Yes, this is who I am. This is who I am. And there's no apologies, you know? There's no more like, oh, I'm sorry for saying that. You're like, you know, you know, you know how to express yourself. You know how to love. And this is such a deeper way that you have ever done it. And so here it is, you know? The moment of truth for you, for you, of dedication, of continuing to do this, because there is a lot of our brothers and sisters, they have no idea that there's another way than the way that they're experiencing right now. And the way that you can help them, the way that we can help them, is continue to hold the space, continue to love, even when the outside world throws shit at us and wants us to fluctuate and go into a different direction. That is when we stay strong, and we implement more the deep love of life, the deep love of creation, when there's no separation, when it doesn't matter what language you speak, it doesn't matter how you look like, it doesn't matter how you dress, nothing matters, but that the pure love that links all of us back together, back to oneness, back to like the beginning of everything that it never even begun and it can even be destroyed. Do you understand that? This is what is the most powerful way of going with all the shifts that are happening, that are happening. That doesn't mean that you're not really, that you're in the dark in the, in the way of like not knowing what is, what is happening, unless that is your choice. Because it's felt very deeply in the field. And the field right now is confused. The field is heavy. The field is just with so much fear at this moment in time. And this is where we come in this is where you come in. This is where you're just stay strong in whatever it is happening in your own personal story. So then you don't really get confused with what is coming through in a different wave to ask you to hold space for it. Because most of the time, when you're feeling something that is not yours, as in I'm talking about your personal story, okay? And it just comes through and you feel it is because dad is asking you to hold space for it. Just like a best friend will ask you to hold space for it. That's like how my clients come and ask me to have hold space for them. It's a very similar thing. But if you don't have that discernment and you don't know which one's yours and which one's not yours, then you believe everything is yours and then it becomes like a more chaotic like way of shifting and expressing many things within your being. So, be aware of what is really happening in your own personal story. When most things, when you're kind of like most of the time, okay, when you're just fine and all of a sudden you feel really depressed and you don't even know what it is, a lot of times it was something in the field is coming for you to hold space for it because of your strength and because of your love. And this is, you know, one of like the most beautiful parts of the awakening because that is when you know 
you've made it. That is when you know that more than just being on the light or in the dark, you're more in the centered because something in the collective is sending signals to you and saying, hold space for me, please. It's very similar, again, when somebody asks you to hold space for them because you know you're a safe space. You know you have a very powerful way of just being and holding that being for transformation. So the field knows that you have that power within yourself. So then when you feel that, and if you haven't felt that, when you feel it, and when you continue to feel these kinds of things, know that you're no longer like this, but you're more in here. You're more in here. And that can help you through the journey especially when you have very intense, intense releases and intense emotions and things like that. Remembering, having your sticky note around, knowing that when the field knows that you can hold space for what's happening in the collective, you have made it. You have made it. And you already have, because we, we all have already done this. Okay, We all have already done this in some kind of way or another. But now... You know, we're implementing all the knowledge that passes through us. You're implementing all the knowledge that passes through you. So allow this to be a way of expressing, a way of being, a way of showing up, you know, a way of showing up. Because if you don't show up, if you don't show up, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to you if you don't show up? And what's going to happen to a lot of people that might be waiting for you to really come out and bloom even more? You know what I mean? What, what would have happened to the people that I work with or the ones that I have worked with before or my best friends, you know, or my family if I had not showed up, if I had actually killed myself, you know? And there is a timeline. I have seen it, a timeline and I have felt it when I was no longer present. And it was very dark for my family, let me tell you. It was very dark for my family. And so in this existence, it's not like that because I chose to be not just the pillar of light, not just the pillar of darkness, but the pillar of it, the consciousness, which you are it too. In your own family, in your own lineage, you are it as well. So it's time to act like it. Because this is why you've been going through what you've been going through in your life. To remember that you are that pillar. And first and foremost, for you. Okay? For you. And as you're being that pillar for yourself, you're being the pillar for everybody else in your family and everybody else in our planet and in the universe. Right? So... Tune in into that. Tune in into that. There is a powerful activation that I posted, you know, and like on Tuesday that came through. Listen, it. It's, it's right there on my feet, on my, I almost said field. <laughs> it definitely is in the field. <laughs> and um, in my post, you know, it's like it's a portal activation. Listen to that. If that, if you feel inclined to do so. Or just listen to it a little bit and see if something, you know, if something gets activated within you. It's all about remembrance. It's all about going back into the centerness. It's all about loving yourself and knowing that you're not different from me. You're not different from your family. You're not different from anybody that is going through anything in the world. That we all make this powerful, amazing being, like a ginormous being in the energetic world, literally. And we're all the little parts of this being. And without one little part, it wouldn't be who it is, just like you. Without one deep experience that you've had in this, in this life, you wouldn't be who you are right now. So you do have an amazing role in this experience and the great being that we're part of. Without you, it wouldn't be who it is, okay? So as we are all awakening, as we're all shifting, elevating and coming back, you know, remembering, this being remembers and this being awakens. This is the wave of awakening. This is the wave of consciousness. This is the way of really the Kundalini rising. Okay? So remember that you do have the power and nobody can take your power away. Nobody can take your freedom away. 
Nobody can take the freedom away from you because you're already free and you're already powerful. And that is, that's you, that's you. How can somebody take that essence away from you? They can't, they can't. And so that's just a story of the mind, a very powerful story of the mind because we, we are having this experience in this plane, in this field, okay? But you're already free and you're already powerful. All these clouds that were covering that up are being released and being moved. The more that you go back to you, the more that you travel inwards, the more that you accept yourself, the more that you love yourself, the more that you love the people that harmed you because you know they are still an aspect of yourself. This is really when the, one of the biggest shifts in your journey actually happens. When you integrate that, that anger and the frustration with love, that, you know, a lot of people say that that's very difficult. And it really isn't very difficult, trust me. I had many people that have harmed me. And of course, I've harmed many people myself too. But when I did that work, it was like a shift like this. And that is also you. It's also you. Just different mirrors, different mirrors, okay? Different mirrors. Because again, you're already free and you're already powerful and you're already awakened. You already are. You already are. So it's time for all of us to act that way. So then we can continue to hold the space for everybody else that has no idea that this side of life actually is real. You know? Yeah. Mm. Sorry, you, sister. Sorry, you. And I'm sending you so much love, you know? Take care of yourself. And I know, like, there's a lot of times where I say this, and it really is meant, is meant, because there's a lot of things happening that all of us are really feeling it in some kind of way or another. So take care of yourself. Rest when you need to take rest, you know? There's a, a really beautiful, somewhat of a storm happening here, and there's no, the snow falling. We now is in nature in my place of empowerment when the nature was telling me it's like look at the snowflakes every every single snowflake is so different but it's still so powerful it's so unique yet they still follow that wave you know they go together this is like a representation of us a mirror of us how powerful and unique we are and we travel together in waves of consciousness and waves of awakening and, and this is this is real because we're all part of some kind of part of the biggest being that we're part of, you know? It's just like when something in your womb awakens, the things around the womb continue to awaken because it's part of the same area. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And... You're deeply loved, you know, know that. You are really deeply, deeply loved, more than you can fathom at this moment in time, more than you can fathom. And continue to be, continue to be against all odds, you know, against all odds. I went against all odds in my life to be where I am. You know, and there's a reason why I continuously say a lot of times that I was suicidal and trying to end my life because now I'm here and I cannot even express with words how deeply in love I am with myself, with existence, with everything in this planet. And if I can go from being suicidal, like it was definitely super difficult to be where I am right now, that's an indication that all of us can do it, that all of us can do it. And it takes courage. It takes courage, it takes a, a really big awareness of self-love and surrender, which you already have. All of us have that within ourselves. Because it's part of life. <laughs> it's part of life. It's so part of life, which life is you. Life is you. Okay, so keep up with the work that you're doing. Keep up with the work that you're doing Stay with the people that actually make you feel safe. 
the people that are witnessing you and loving every part of the new transformation of the new you. Stay with your tribe. Stay with your tribe. And if you know somebody is your tribe and you don't really have like in contact with this person, like send them a message. Send them a message. Because it's very important right now that we stay united and that we reunite. It's so important. It's so important. Mm, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. And yeah, I am gonna chill right now. <laughs> uh, and let me tell you that, like, what was happening in the field, if you see my shirt, you know, it says live in the meow. This is because my inner child was also feeling all that heaviness. <laughs> and it's like, okay, let's put some kind of shirt that, like, keeps the inner child happy too. You know, sometimes we gotta do those things, you know? And for me, it only is like almost every day. I, Make sure that she is good. I make sure that she is good, that like my teenager self is good, my young adults, you know, my adult self, my past selves, goodness, ancestors, <laughs> all those, those things. Because all of those things are you. All those things are you. Mm. Yeah. Okay, dears. So much love. So much love. So much love.